I think it's safe to say that my life is insanely, unpredictably beautiful. In my 22 years, God has called me to bow before the most ancient relics in Europe, to climb even more ancient monuments in Central America. He has called me to witness to some of the poorest people in the world and to receive the greatest love we can ever comprehend or imagine. Strangely enough, I will be the first person to admit it. I am so unworthy of the travel and of the generosity and of the experiences and of the love, really. But it flows into my life because I am a part of his body. I am a part of his church and I am nothing if not for that. And every person I have ever encountered, every place I have ever been, whether it has moved me to tears or literally ripped my heart in half, it's a place of ministry. Our mission and the mission of the church is to bring him everywhere with us, literally and spiritually. Everywhere our restless wanderings bring us, it, it's not for us. It is not my mission. It's his. Tip off. No water in the water. So often we get caught up in the abstract philosophies and can even complicate the theology surrounding certain religious or simply pious teachings, and honestly it is so easy to do so. Following the way of genius popes and radical saints is an inspiring way to minister, but the purest commandments come from the word of God himself, Jesus Christ, and their expression through the Holy Bible and Catechism of the Catholic Church is our indisputable way of clarifying such questions. The Catholic Church's call to missionary activity is simply a call to a full lifestyle. We do not need to be feeding a third world country or saving the inner city to be on mission. In fact, the underlying message of the church promotion of missionary life is just that. Our lives are a mission. As Catholics, as Christians, as people, we are called to bring the light of Christ to everyone in every corner of the world. Whether those corners fall in a third world country, in the inner city, in an office or a school or in a monastery is up to God. The Catechism tells us that mission is a requirement of the church's Catholicity. It is a mandate of the church to spread the word and the love of God. However, that same eternal love is what must remain the central origin and purpose of all missionary activity. There is an obvious depth to this theology, but our literal call to this practice comes directly from Christ as is recorded in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and I am with you always to the close of the age. Well, certainly we received a mandate from the Lord himself, the risen Lord, standing before his, his apostles and disciples giving them the word to uh, go and make disciples of all the nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And that is carried through the 2,000 year tradition of the church that we have something to give. First of all, I think that we have experienced Christ and his love, and that's our foundation point. And then in encountering the world that has become very secularized and very much the modern world, which has been, become skeptical of religion and any kind of faith matter, the first thing that comes to mind is that when Jesus said to go out um, and make all, all, baptize all people in my name. And then there's that other passage um, where he sends out the 72. So I feel like um, from the very onset of the church's birth, we've been asked to do mission work. You know, we're just kind of perpetuating that same, you know, call that, that Jesus gave to the first disciples. 
the Catholic Church definitely promotes missionary life. I think as a faith, like we are big proponents of faith and good works, um, and that is our principle. So I think it's only appropriate that missionary work and works of mercy are encouraged. Um, and I think it's important because they give us that foundation um, through the catechism, through the word, um, but the other part is on us to go out and spread the word. My mission trip uh, in particular promotes the teachings of the church because we do provide to both the body and soul. Uh, it's a medical mission trip that uh, does want to heal the body and also provide the soul like the long-lasting effects. Um, and I think the church does that too. I think the church is fully aware that it's uh, a church of sinners and broken people and not people who are perfect um, saints. Um, I think saints are the perfect example. Also, they are the example of ordinary people living extraordinary lives, and I think that mission work is a very important way to go about that. The church promotes missionary work by realizing that each individual is created in the image and likeness of God. I think the church um, teaches in different aspects, uh, call us to some sort of missionary life. I mean, the church, we hear all the time, spread the good news, share the word of the gospel, um, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, uh, everything in the fundamental um, uh, roots and teachings of our church call us to not share the good that we have with others. Um, and that leads us to, whether it's to our parish or to different countries, uh, to do some sort of missionary work. I think the biggest thing out of mission trips that really help to, they help to experience the church in a very authentic and real way. You hope to bring something back with you and it's a lot of times it's not something material but it's the, the knowledge and the wisdom that I've been able to receive from the people that I've been able to encounter. Not only in these countries in Ecuador, Jamaica, but also with the team and, and spending that time together, realizing that we all have different backgrounds, but we're able to come together and share our faith. And that's something that I will take with me. I think each year that I go on mission, it builds. I think like the very first year, I was just filled with fire and like filled with the Holy Spirit to go out and I almost felt invincible. And then the following year, I think I was more humbled of like, I'm not even worthy of this work and to enter into these people's lives. Um, and it is more of like, a sa it was more of a sacrifice. Um, and I think I've just learned more and more each year about what it is to be a missionary and to be a missionary in my everyday life and not just for a week down in a foreign country. You know, mission isn't limited to this one week that's labeled a mission. Um, you can love people and serve people on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and being able to actually go to a mission and push yourself outside your comfort zone, you really get to see how far you can, you know, love and serve other people, which gives you that confidence to go out in your day-to-day -day life and love people to the best of your ability. So, uh, what my first year going on Ecuador, it was incredible experience, really that time of just really not knowing what I'm getting into. And everyone I think feels that way, uh, especially in that first trip where you're like, What's, what, th what are things gonna be like? And so we get there and it's, it was, I remember looking to my friend Brian and being like, what, what's next? We were like, we've been talking about this trip for a long time and what, what to prepare for, what to expect. And you realize, you really can't prepare for something like this. And so Ecuador is a medical trip. So I got to be in there with the nurses and doctors and we were translating. And then all of a sudden there's kind of like murmuring going around. People are like, just kind of stopped what they were doing. It was like this little TV. And, and it turned out Pope Francis had been elected the next Pope. And so it was like one of those like very real experiences of like, this is going on in, in Rome, we're in Ecuador, it's a Pope from, uh, from Argentina, and we're kind of like all worlds collided at that moment, and we got to celebrate that together. 
and it was definitely like seeing that universal church as as like a union community of believers. I think that it is significant and important now that Pope Francis is promoting this as a cause to reignite hearts, to bring the love of God into the hearts of his people. A particular part that has always stuck with me of Joy of the Gospel was that we have been gifted with an encounter with Christ and we're called to bring that out into the lives of others. And how vital that and important that is to the life of the church and especially to the poor, and ministering to them and bringing what we've experienced as a joy and a gift of God's love in our lives to their lives and, and rejoicing with them finding life in that. A very important part of this is when I see how personal it becomes. It becomes very personal for for our students and for myself to interact on a one-on-one -on -one level with the people we meet or a collective level and again how receptive they are to us and to what we're saying to our faith and we're responding to that and really that, those are the moments that are really touched deeply and the love of God and the grace of God is just imbued in those situations so much that uh, I just it's very powerful it is just a very powerful thing, almost beyond words. We were in Jamaica, and um, one of the uh, children, she was taught that uh, she was looking at the crucifix on one of our missionaries, and she asked, who was that on the cross? And our missionary shared with her the story of Jesus, and that that was Jesus on the cross, and that he died for her, and that he loves her very much, and he'll always be there for her. While we were in Jamaica, every night we'd put on a program from 6 to 9 o'clock for children. And one day this little girl came up to me. She was five years old. Her name was Leanna. And then another student, a year later, met up with this young girl, the same young girl. And she also um, asked the question um, about the crucifix. And she goes, oh, I know who's on the crucifix because uh, Maggie told me last year who that is. I was wearing this missionary cross here, and she just came up and grabbed it, and she goes, Jesus is God, they're the same person. And I was just astonished that, that she knew this at, at such a young age. And I go, how do you know that? And she said, you know, the previous year when missionaries were here, uh, she was only four years old, she goes, Maggie told me that. So it's just neat to see, you know, two different students wearing the same cross, having um, this young girl, you know, express to, the, to them that she remembered what she was taught a year ago. And that just helped me because throughout the week I was just concerned that, you know, we had done all this fundraising, we had gone to all these meetings, and what lasting impact is it going to have on the children? Um, but for them to grasp that concept at such a young age and to remember all those who have been there in the past, um, definitely, definitely made all the efforts worth it. You know, I could tell you uh, things that have happened, but it just, there's something beyond all that. And it's really, I, I think, the, the love of God and the Holy Spirit working. I think it's really important to be a missionary in everyday life because if we were just these people who put on a show on mission, people can see right through that. People can see your authenticity and your genuineness. And it's important to have that spirit every day of our life. Because we don't know the people who we're impacting. In our eyes as humans, it may seem like something was not as fruitful, but it's not. The Lord works through everything. Uh, the Holy Spirit works through you if you're willing. The thing I always tell myself is that Christ has already won the victory. It's honestly, it never has and it never will be our mission. There's joys and sufferings and it's ever changing, but one thing always stays the same and that is the Lord is our rock and that is our mission.